Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, the Memphis Grizzlies have signed two players to 10 day contracts. It's the first uh, players to be signed to 10 day contracts uh, this season so far. It's Jalen Noel and Shaq Harrison. Uh, Jalen Noel, who's most known for his time with Minnesota, that's really the only team he's played for. He was with the Sacramento Kings throughout the preseason, but did not make their roster, but has been with the Timberwolves for the last uh, three, last four seasons. We'll go over his stats for the past two seasons, and we'll go over Shaq Harrison. He's been all around all around the NBA, uh, but I like these two signings. But the Grizzlies, they're they're screwed right now, and, and we'll, I think it will be interesting to see what type of team they are, even though they have so many injuries once Ja Morant comes back. But I look at their next 11 games that they they still have another 11 games without John Morant due to suspension. And I only see them getting around two or three wins around that timeline. So you're going to look at Ja coming back uh, 25 games in the season and be either 5-20 and 20 or 6-19 and 19, or even worse than that because it's a really hard 11-game stretch for them in the next, in the next uh, 11 games before Ja comes back. But I like this addition with Jalen Noel over the next 10 days. And let's see uh, what he's done with the Sacramento or with the Minnesota Timberwolves. So, uh, and the Sacramento Kings, but that's just preseason stats, which he didn't do much. 2022 23 season. Last year, he played 65 games and two starts with the Timberwolves. And um, he had uh, 19 minutes per game, an average 11 points per game, three rebounds per game, two assists per game. With one steal per game, and from three, he shot 29%. From 2021-22 season, played 62 games, one start, 15 and a half minutes per game, nine points per game, two rebounds per game, two assists per game, with a half a steal per game. From three, much better, 39.4%. And then 2021 season, he averaged nine points per game with 2.3 rebounds per game and two assists per game. That was in 42 games with 18 minutes per game. As of for Shaq Harrison, um... So Shaq Har- Shaquille Harrison has been in the NBA since 2018. He's, he hasn't, he's played for less teams than I thought. He's played for Phoenix, that's where he started off, then went to the Bulls, the Utah Jazz, the Denver Nuggets, the Brooklyn Nets, and the Portland Trail Blazers. So last season with the Blazers, he he went to, he was also in the Lakers last year for the postseason, but didn't play at all in the post. Or maybe he did play in the postseason. He played in he played eight games in the postseason last year with the Lakers in the 22-23 season with uh, 1.3 points per game, and that was it. Um, and then with the Blazers last year, played five games with 24 minutes per game and nine points per game, and then he got signed to the Lakers for the postseason. 2021-22 season with the Brooklyn Nets, averaged two points per game, but that was only in two games. 2021 season, he played 34 games with the Jazz and the Denver Nuggets, averaging two points per game. 2019-20 season with the Bulls, he played 43 games and 10 starts, averaged five points per game. 2018-19 season with the Bulls, he played 73 games with 11 starts, averaged seven points per game. 2017-18 season with the Suns, his first series season in the NBA, 23 games and two starts, and averaged seven points per game. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the signing for the Memphis Grizzlies. That's the video, and peace out.